everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. So, as y'all can see from the time below, I am once again back with another LED light review. If you saw my last LED light review, I told y'all that I was waiting for some ones to come in the mail. And oh boy, they are finally here. So, we're gonna open these up in a second. These ones are from the brand Amazon, which I feel like is how you pronounce it. And I was sent these ones for free to test and review for the company, but I was not paid to create this video, so all the opinions of this video are my own. View, you can get these on Amazon, I got them on Amazon, and the current price for it is $26.99. Last time I'm about to open up for y'all are 32.8 feet. They are Bluetooth enabled, so it comes with the remote, and you have app control, and there is also a music mode on it. So let's go ahead and open these up. Ooh, how am I going to open these? <laughs> Yo necesito tejeras. I need some scissors. I'm not trying to break my nails. Okay. okay, so. When you open up the box, the Amazon box, of course they put the little paper to keep it protected and oh my gosh this box is big it's bigger than any other one I've had so this is what the box looks like it has the brand name on the back then it has the specs on the side and some manufacturer information all that good stuff up there y'all this is actually pretty heavy compared to like other LED light strips that I have so just, just go ahead and open it we open it, this is what it looks like. Oh, so the first thing that just dropped out are, these are what they call like little command strip hooks. I had another, one of the first brands that I reviewed for y'all, the Goldie ones, they also came with something like this that you can stick onto the wall, it has a little sticker on it or that you could screw into the wall, but I'm not seeing the screws in here. So if you do decide to screw these on the wall, cause there's a little hole for it, you will have to buy the screws your own or on your own. And then it has a little user manual, which is a thick book. Okay, it's because it's in other languages as well. I'm like, y'all, this is a lot. This. If you need this much information about some LED light strips, you just need to make them more user friendly or something. But, okay, we'll look through this at another time. Then we have the remote, which I've never seen or used a remote like this before. It's not too bad, it's not too different to like other remotes that I've seen. Not other, it's not too different to like other remotes that I've used, but it has like a whole different layout, so we'll get into that. And then here is the receiver for the LED lights. It looks like okay, so this might be a two strand light, two strands of 16 because it has these two little things in it, and then it has the receiver right here. And then this is like another little button, I guess, for music on or mode music, mode on and music, I'm guessing, and like the little thing to hear the music. And then you have the little power strip, which isn't too bad. And then of course the light, yeah. So the lights are two lights, which I'm guessing are two 16 foot lights to make the 32 feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of these. Okay y'all, so while I'm waiting for the app to download, the app is called Lotus Lantern. Not really sure why the app is named different from the brand that's on the box, but they didn't ask me help them brand their product. So I'm gonna mind my business. But when you open up the LED light strips, the roll looks like this. I was confused at first because I was like, okay, what is this on it? Because usually when you get LED light strips, it's faced the other way. But this is actually like the little sticky part that you can attach to your wall if you want or something. It's clear. 
and the LED light strips are on the other side. So I'm about to unravel this roll while I'm still waiting for the app to download. And y'all, this kind of has like a, it's like the like factory smell. It's not like that big of a deal, but I'm pretty sure my hands are gonna smell absolutely disgusting after this. Okay, so while I'm still waiting for the app to download, I'm just gonna plug these strips in. Y'all, these strips are actually significantly more heavier. Not like that, 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 but they're heavier compared to the other LED light strip that I have reviewed and had have had so far. And I think it's because it does have like a little buffer thing over it. I, they're probably like, I think these are probably like waterproof or something. Yeah, these are waterproof. Okay. Yeah, these are waterproof. So that's why it has that little like buffered jelly looking top to it. Let me bring it up closer. Just like if you haven't had any light strips, you would understand. Like that little shiny top coating. I haven't had that on any LED light strips that I've had so far, but I'm going to plug it in. Let me plug that part back out again, but just to show y'all how to plug it in, make sure that the, oh, <laughs> make sure that you take one of these and everything is lining up. So you see how there's like an arrow right there. There's also an arrow on here and both of the brand names are connected. You just wanna plug those in. And then I'm gonna take this and plug this into the wall. There's also like a little cute, cute QR code right here that you can scan. When I scan on my iPad, it brought me to the Google Play Store. So it's good for Android. But if you have iPhone, they still do have the app, but I don't think this is gonna pull up to the iTunes App Store. So, okay, the app is finally downloaded, but we're plugged in. And I think it's on the music mode. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so off, on, mode. Or I guess this changes the different light. Okay, that's lit, that's cute. It's going through different modes. Okay, so this M changes it through the different, it faces it through the lights and then it faces it through the modes. And then of course this music button makes it react to music. I think. Oh yeah, that's what it's doing. Okay, 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 okay. Now, let's test the remote real quick because you know I'm gonna test everything. Um, So with the remote, we're gonna go off, on, Okay, I think this on is the music mode. They're so gonna go auto. And now it's phasing through like the different modes. Okay, and now let's go. This is music mode one. Okay, so this is kind of like the same mode that it had on my Gobi lights. If you've seen that video, that will be linked down below and in the iCards where the stagnant mode is off. And then as you make sound, it changes the color. So that's one one, that's the music mode one. And you have music mode two, which seems like it has a stagnant color, which I'm already liking, because if you saw my Gobi light review, that was one of the problems that I did not like about it, that when there was no sound, the light wasn't on. So these might be it, y'all. These might be it if you have like a nice party or like something and you wanna get lit or something, whatever you're trying to do. These are nice. <laughs> and then three is off. And this is, this is more like a big flashing, bam, 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 <laughs> compared to the one that's a fade on. So it's off and then it fades compared to music mode three where it's just flashing. And I'm showing y'all the light this way instead of in a dark, instead of dark and by itself, just for anybody who has problems with epilepsy. So I'm so sorry if it's not like the, most detailed review, but it's because it's a light. I don't wanna trigger anybody that doesn't need to be triggered. Then you have some timer switches on here just for like time it to turn off in an hour or two hours or three hours based with the remote. <laughs> and then you have, you can change the speed of how fast everything is changing. And then you can change it low. So it the speed is slower. And you can go through the different modes. I think it's just a blinking mode. 
and then I'm not even sure what's happening. Okay, but there's a mode button and then there's a brightness. So you can make it real bright and then make it dimmer, which is cool. That's cool. You probably can't catch it doing like getting that bright or getting that dim on the camera, but I see it in person. Then you have your red, your green, your blue, your, I'm turn that way. Um, you have yellow, green, or a different green that kind of still looks green, a blue, uh, what looks like red on here, but I guess it's supposed to be orange, <laughs> a purple, and a white. So, yeah. Um, just to show y'all once again the remote, that's all I was just phasing through real quick. And like I said, it's kind of a little confusing because this is red, but that's also red, but you don't get the same color. And that's green, but that's also green, and that's not the same color. And that's blue, but that's also blue, and that's not the same color. That's none of my business, but I've had this problem with other LED light shifts that I had before where the, the colors on the remote don't make sense with the colors that you actually see in the light strip. But once again, it's not that big of a problem if you're just looking for a vibe or just a certain look. Once you get used to the light shift that you have, you're gonna know what color you wanna use and that's just something, it's a, it's a hump that you could get over later on. So let me open the app and connect this to the light shift that I have. I'm gonna pop up what my screen looks like over here on the side right now. This is, is that mine? Oh, okay, so it was already connected to the light strips. So, here are the light strips, and as you can see, there's like a little color wheel. This is cool, so like you, you have this little hot pink color. It's changing to blue, green. Okay, this is, this is actually pretty good. It's pretty good compared to other lights that I have had. It's good, like the Gobi lights that I had. There still is that problem in between orange, where this orange, you probably still can't even see. I'll probably do this part in dark later on, but this is supposed to be orange, and yet it is yellow. And it this is supposed to be yellow, and yet it's green at least right now in a lit room. Then you can change the brightness. That's also pretty cool. Oh, and you can get really specific if you know your like RGB numbers, if you do like, if you do marketing or flyers and all that, or if you work with different font colors, you'll probably know different color codes and all of that. You can turn it off, on. Then you have your preset colors. You have your classic colors. Now let's go to style. You have your statics. Then you have three color jumping change. Seven color jumping change. Cross fade. Red gradual change. You have a bunch of graduals. Strobe. Which isn't strobing, but okay. This is a flash, not a strobe. But this, that's also another thing. I guess a pro to these is the um, the app interface. I probably won't use the remote with having this app because the app, it seems like you have a lot more options with your colors and what they can do, which I like a lot, personally. Then you can add your music. Um, we'll get into that another time. Then you have your mic, okay. Hmm. So right now it's it's changing to the mic on my iPad, which I don't understand why I would need to do that. But if that's what you want to do, if you want to scare somebody and go boo or something, I guess that works. Or you can do the external mic, which is the mic that is 
that I showed you guys earlier that is connected to this. It should probably be better, especially if you have like a party or something and the sound is vibrating off the walls, this would be way much better than the mic on your phone or whatever you're using. Um, so it's in disco right now. You change it to dynamic, to soft, or to classic. You have a whole lot of different options and your sensitivity you can also change as well, which is crazy cool. And then you have your schedule if you wanna like, I guess if you keep these plugged in the entire time on your wall, you can have a schedule for them to turn on or turn off, which is also another thing that I seen in the Gobi app. But the, the Gobi app was a little bit more, not advanced, but there were more options. Like they still had a schedule as well, but that one, like it would gradually, like there was a morning rise or like a sunset sort of thing. So it would come, it would gradually turn on as time went or when it was time for you to wake up or something. So to get into the music, this is, I don't even know what these songs are, but let's go into my, how do you get into the library? Why would I want to shake it? No. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I allowed music earlier, but I have no clue what these songs are. I cannot even, I can't lie to y'all, but like, okay, so. Give me a second to learn how to do this and then I'll come back. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I did learn how to get my music uploaded on here. It wasn't like hard to do. Literally, I just exited out the app and got back in the app and all of them were there. So let's go to some copyright music. Y'all, please do not judge the music that I have on here. <laughs> so that's also another thing. I wish that you could like just search it instead of me having to scroll through every single song that I have on here. And it's only the songs that are on like your iTunes. I also have songs that are in like my files, but that's perfectly fine. I have, I can use this one. Okay, so. I'm gonna turn down the music on my actual iPad to see if it's really. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. So I guess what this is doing is the the lights are changing to the music. So once again, this this could be pretty cool for, I guess not a party, cause you probably have a DJ and I don't know if this could like go with that. But if you're having like a kickback or something and you're playing music or whoever's playing music, they can get on here and then the music can be even more like I guess jump, like the lights can adjust or connect to the music even better. So this is actually pretty cool, especially because also you see the light is staying on the entire time and it's changing to the beat that's in this song, which is pretty cool. So let's turn that off. At this point, y'all, I'm actually confused. I cannot lie. Turn off of here. Okay, so overall, my first impression on this is really good honestly i'm i'm really tempted to switch these out for the day better ones that i have on my wall right now but i don't want to just because the fact that this although it is 32 feet which i think is the same length as the one that i have on my wall right now it's not a continuous strip and it doesn't look like it can be it doesn't like it can be connected to another thing as well this is like two different strips. So if you want to, you can like put this in the corner and have it go two different ways, which is what I was gonna do with another LED light strip if I was to buy another one. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I'm really torn. I really do like this though, and the music capability and the music function on this is absolutely amazing compared to 
the Govee lights that I had before. You can watch that review if you want to, but I would, if you want something that jumps to music or changes to music, this is the one that I will most definitely go for. The app interface is not the best compared to the Govee app. This one is, it needs some more work. It needs some more development. It's okay for right now, it gets the job done but there's not that many instructions and it's kind of a little confusing but of course if you just play around with anything you learn by trial and error so you'll end up figuring out how to use them the only thing that i would say about these is although they are 32 feet and the music mode is amazing these still do cost a bit it costs 27 dollars compared to the day better ones that i have right now that are 19 but like i said with these also comes a really good music mode and an app that you can use as well compared to the day better ones that don't have the music mode. There is no app. You just kind of have to trial and error with the remote that you get. So that is my unboxing and first impressions on the Amazon LED lights. I really do like them, like I said. If you are willing to spend an extra five, six dollars on them, I would go for them, especially if you are someone that wants them to change to your music. If you do like TikTok or anything like that, you want to change to music or you're getting it for a area that you're going to be doing or hosting parties in, I would most definitely suggest for y'all to get these. I like them so far. I'm, of course, I'm going to have to play and toy around with them a little bit more, especially because, like I said, this is my first time using them and first time opening them up. But if anything does change, I will either leave a comment down below or make another video and link it to this one later on. But if y'all like this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell right now because I always make videos like this. If you don't hit the notification bell, you'll never know when another one comes out. And remember to follow me on Instagram at I'm Cecilia Dree because of course I post way more often on there and I, you get all the updates on all these videos, sneak peeks and everything. You see everything before it hits YouTube. So that's the place that you want to be following me at. And remember that I love you guys so much. And my name is Sincerely Dree and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.